really in 2023, everybody is a Jew by choice. Every single person makes a choice to come into this space. The goal of Congregation Beth Shalom are to create an environment where every Jew can really find their Jewish place. I really try to listen to what people are looking for. And I always try to take a step back and say, what are we trying to achieve, right? It's not just the moment at the chuppah, but what is your Jewish life gonna look like? We are the only conservative synagogue in San Francisco. We are steeped in tradition, but we're also the shul for the 21st century here in San Francisco. We are incredibly cognizant of the sense of responsibility that we have to the tradition, and, and ultimately that's where rituals all time. What I think makes us unique is that we hold on to our traditional and egalitarian values, and we also allow for people to really find their unique path. I do my absolute best never to tell anybody that their Judaism is wrong, so that when that person walks in the door and says, you know, I feel connected to Judaism in some way, but I have no idea where to start. We can offer them a place to start. We want people to be able to experience Jewish practice, Jewish life, Jewish experience. We want people to be able to express the way that they do Judaism. When people come here, they come here for any number of reasons. People walk in here when they're at a milestone or when they're seeking something. And we do have a tradition that we offer. We have the Torah, we have rabbinic Judaism, we have our texts, we have halacha, we have Jewish law, we have the ways that we do things. But we also have minhag, and, and minhag means tradition, and it means that it hasn't been written down. When somebody has an honor of an aliyah, the word aliyah means to go up. And that's very ironic in this space, because when you have an aliyah here, you go down. And my understanding is that there is a sense of humility in lowering yourself when you come for an honor in this community, when you come to the Torah. There's a sense of humility to be going down as opposed to be going up. But it's, I mean, when the room is full and you're standing on the floor, it's immensely powerful to be able to look up and see all those faces. It is important to have egalitarian values. And the truth is that Beth Shalom just lives that all the time. It's just woven into the fabric of who we are in 2023. The Minion is the heartbeat of the show. We're privileged to put own and to preserve three different scrolls that survived the show up. Reading from those scrolls, uh, in many ways, is a ritual connection from us to prior generation. I think Shabbat at Beth Shalom is our core. It's something that has been special in our tradition for hundreds of thousands of years but that continues to, to really be the core of what this community is about. We ask big questions about how does this story relate to your life? What can we take out of the Torah that is resonant in today? But here, we really come together in a special way. There are kids in every part of the building. We have a preschool Kabbalah Shabbat service that takes place every Friday morning where we dance and we sing and we celebrate simchas. We bring joy and ruach to our life and that's so important that we have those opportunities to, to celebrate together and Shabbat is the perfect opportunity for that to happen. One of the best parts about Shabbat morning is when the Shabbat school piles into the sanctuary, they find their adults, they sit for a bit, they sing together with us in Musaf and at the very end of the service I invite them down to lead a Don Alam and you can feel this sense of unity in the congregation. You can see the youngest babies being held in the community, and you can see some of our oldest veteran members. And we all just are able to join together in this moment of collective celebration, in the celebration of Shabbat. Yoshe Francisco.